if, if ever I get cramped in in my life where I have no space for silence, then there's a space for silence that opens within. Uh, yeah. But if we knew how to project that outwardly, then we we might understand some things that <laughs> we don't about community sustainability we get so hung up on the second law of thermodynamics about the tendency toward entropy that we we forget about the first one the balance i'm trying to glean some about dynamical systems theory from reading people like jeremy lent and, and it's it's these attractors but in, in the midst of this tendency toward entropy, like sometimes order appears and things go the other way. Negative entropy. Neg entropy. But I feel like there's something missing still. Like we need to overturn this fixation on the slow slide of the universe toward entropy. Who decreed that? That's That's like a death mentality. It's what what if it really was this more balance of entropy and neg entropy? Alan Watts even said he saw it as a balance where the neg entropy was always slightly ascendant instead of the other way around. Talking about uh, natural systems, I guess he was. Towards order. Yeah, I, I think he was trying to convey like a Hindu mindset. Whenever I feel like that's a pray. lot of most religious I feel like or like anyone who believes in anything I feel like there's some, kind of some sort of order to it I hadn't really thought about how like you know it is a well quote or like sourced or like referenced idea that the law of, second law of thermodynamics seem antithetical to the general feeling that most people have that are paying attention to some sort of order supposed to be a law that ever like it's not really a question like even like i think gravity is like the theory of gravity right but i don't know i feel like it's a law of thermodynamics that it's like chaos but when you when you see in, in the think... earth any any this natural disaster in the past now it's a natural beauty like yucatan yeah. where, where the where meteorites you know it's like that kind of process like when when the chaos came and after that you know you get that marble <laughs> yeah you know um, there's there's a there's a phrase that i reference a lot consciousness is not computation it's it's more like music the, the music of the universe and you know going back to like there's like these um ratios and 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 dynamics at different scales and then like this like dynamic dance of it playing out in all its different um, possibilities within like that's those scale um, dynamics <laughs> you know and like because at like different levels there's all sorts of weird dynamics that are happening within us at, a, at all levels yeah. 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 beautiful thing in the universe like with shaking I was thinking about this that process of well it's it's like with the um the chladni plates what's the word for it something climatics oh yeah you, you oh know, yeah yeah yeah, yeah yes, I met it. with shaking the pumpkin i was thinking the, our our means let's just say yeah can be likened to grains bouncing around on this plate that is shifting so the the contours like the writing on it i don't know yeah characters like we're to. inside the pumpkin and and the sand <laughs> is shaking and, and we can see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> pumpkins all the way there all the way around yeah and, but the pumpkin is is like the the the, the taurus right Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Just this pumpkin folding into it. So yeah, when it's we been, when we get into the middle, bad. when we get into the middle, we get destroyed, but like recombine on the other side of it. 
yeah. yeah. Collapsing and banding all at the same time. Collaborating <laughs> packages like cerebral bindings. Flesh. <laughs> but that's kind of like um, within the vacuum like symbol right there. Because they're like the little sand dots. Uh, you know, you know, uh, that symbol is uh, the axis of the structure. So I choose them and, and make little squares in, in each. So it looks like some kind of order, but, but it's, <laughs> it's random in a way, yeah. Oh, actually, that's... Uh, oh, I'm so glad uh, they kind of reminded me right now. But I think what for for this week and this cycle uh, within the vacuum, that we we make that the song into into like shaking the pumpkin at, at Frog Pond like the like a soundscape for for like how we um, bring in like the vi- like the the main video edit and then like use to to do different things with. So I don't know. Just initially, I was thinking. Do you have access to frogs and start playing with frog noises? <laughs> Dude, we have frogs uh, around here sometimes. This time of year, I'm not sure if we have them here. Otherwise, I'd, I've been wanting to sample some frogs, honestly. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Sampling <laughs> some this frogs. Year, <laughs> yeah, there's some good frogs out here. I'm up in Pennsylvania right okay, now. Okay, cool. And there's some, like, I hear some frogs outside the right time of year. Nice. There's a big state park near me, like 3,000 acres. Wow. Yeah, so cool. I go, like, spend some time out there. But I'll definitely, sometime this year, I'll try to get some frog samples. Okay, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan of some frogs. I was thinking that maybe you can you can add the track, the the, the singing track to, to the new version also. So, I thought, yeah, I don't know. Okay. What think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Play, it's play it's like play. part of the song. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's totally. well, or, or I don't know if it's better with the other version. With the other version, it's it's, it's amazing because the crescendo, uh-huh. you can feel the crescendo with the singing. Yeah. And you yeah. also change, like you give more effect and less effect to the voices. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, in some parts, oh man, it's perfect. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, it can it touch my heart, you know. Amazing. Amazing. I was like, oh, this is the track, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Magical. And where, where do you get that sample? Um, I found it um, on, on YouTube. There's um, some group. It was like an older one, but um, they're like a, a yoga group or whatever, and they they had a, like a book study or something. I don't know, but yeah, they they did the chanting. I you know how I I get to the chat bot today oh, uh, is because uh-huh. I was I was looking for, for I was looking that in, in the brave search, and he recommends me the the chat bot, so I started with that. You know, like <laughs> what I was looking in the, in the Brave searcher, but no, definitely we we have to. Yeah, it it sounds magnificent. Totally, we'll start building on that. Um, also too, just like um, with the music, like how how are you gonna like where are you gonna put it up? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think I think you guys know how to do that better than me. You know, like. You yeah, I, I would, I would, uh, yeah, but I would suggest, you know, for you, yeah. do you have already like a, a like a band camp or, uh, I know you have a, 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 what is the one you use, Audius, or there's another one too? Yeah, I, I have Audius. I, I think I have Rocky, but I didn't do anything there yet, but. Yeah, I would say, one. I would say do both, like set up a band camp and then set up a, stuff on Rocky and then what we could do too is you know like um, as, as we built this it's like with every release and whatever um, we keep on building the going going and um, pushing what do you call it the back camera 